But anytime you have an injury like that, you know, there's not only the physical side, there's the mental side. Your, your life is basketball if you're one of these guys. And, and I know Tyler has young kids and that probably helped, but basketball is taken away from you for almost a year and that's a long, hard road back. For, for the last year or so, I've been committing myself to get back to where I was before the injury, but also just uh, come back better and committing to the rehab. And in that year, I don't know how I'm going to feel. I don't know what I'm going to feel when I start running. And the only thing you have is talking to somebody who's been through it. And for me, the only guy that I know was, was Paul George. And seeing him go from uh, the injury to, I think, his best season last year where he was in the MVP conversation, I think that just kind of sheds a light that it's a process. And, and I was able to speak with him a little bit too about it. And, you know, he just, same thing. It's, it's about you. It's about running your own race. And, and, you know, that's what I've been on. And I think that's what kind of brought me here with the 905 is just, uh, you know, this is what I thought would get me to, to where I want to go in my career. And it wasn't about anything but, you know, my health and getting better and, and being on a team and getting, you know, getting to play basketball. To come the G League route with Raptors 905 and not go to the next situation that would pay or guarantee more roster spot, but to come somewhere where he can build up, somewhere he trusts the medical staff and trusts where they're going, I think that says, you know, he's approaching this intelligently, he's approaching with a long view in mind, and there's a real trust there between him and the 905. I was looking for a place to, you know, keep developing, keep getting better, and, you know, also have a, um, a comfortable atmosphere, you know, my first year back, and, and you know, they were able to, to give me that, and I was able to come in and play. The Phoenix Suns select Tyler Ennis from Brampton, Canada and Syracuse University. Once you get drafted, you just you want to be all-star in year one, and I think it's, you don't do that. And, you know, being a first-round pick and being, you know, I think I was the third point guard take, and you, you kind of expect to come in and, and start, and obviously I was drafted to a situation where I wasn't, I wasn't getting on the floor, no matter, no matter how great I came into camp. From, from the day I got to college, honestly, and, and before that, playing against guys that were projected to go lottery, and, and I'm playing against them day in and day out, and I know I can hold my own. I think it was just a, a matter of you know situation and opportunity. I think if 99% of the players, I think if you put them in the right situation in the NBA, you know, you're gonna be like, oh, this guy's really good. I think I did a good job of kind of leaning on, on the vets that were there and learning everything I could, but I would say be patient and just keep working. You know, being 19 years old, you think you have it figured out. You think you're, you're a grown man walking in, and now I'm looking at 19-year-olds like O'Shea, and I'm like, bro, you have, you have so much, you have so much to learn, like on the court and off the court. My vet was uh, Isaiah Thomas. It's funny. I, I was actually talking to somebody the other day about, uh, you know, just his, you know, career projection and. He started off not playing in, in Sacramento, worked his way in. He got, you know, he injured his hip, he's coming back. He, you know, he has two kids, he had just had another one. But, you know, I think I just kind of ended up following kind of in his footsteps. Obviously, he, you know, had a great MVP, you know, run in, in Boston. Honestly, I, I, don't, I don't really have a plan. I think for me, it was just get healthy and, and kind of let things happen organically. I'm, you know, everything uh, from committing to, to Syracuse to going to prep school, everything's been organic. And I think the things that we try to, when you try to force something and, and fit your way into something that's not meant for you, it never works out.